I'll bet when you sit down to have a Guinness, you wish you had an Innes. Oh, yes, an Innes. You see, if you sit down and enjoy your Guinness, you likely lay back in the ottoman or in the lazy boy, perhaps put your feet up in a Muskoka chair and enjoy the casual relaxation of a Guinness. <laughs> You're not Bushman Bob, are you? When I sit down to have a Guinness, I prefer to have a Guinness. Because I never sit down and do nothing. I always do something. One can't sit around doing nothing when one should be doing something, which is likely all of the time. Yes, all of the time. One must do something, not nothing. You will not find me in my Muskoka chair enjoying a Guinness. You will find me enjoying a Guinness. Well, how does one achieve finding an Guinness? One has to then purchase a Guinness and get to work. Spinning the tools, achieving objectives such as I was just enjoying. Spinning tools, yes. And my Guinness, after spinning a few tools, well turned into a <coughs> Innes. Yes, the Innes was rather impacted by the wrench that I was so diligently <coughs> working with the cordless drill to loosen the <coughs> three-eighths bolt, at which point then the <coughs> handle of this bloody wrench impacted my, well, at the time... Guinness, and now has become <laughs> an Innes. Well, <laughs> allow me. Do you think this will stop me from enjoying my Innes? Ah, I think not. Lovely, lovely. Ah, a lovely beverage. Innes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I think we've got on to something. I think we are on to something, don't you? Innes, a fabulous beverage to enjoy whilst <laughs> spinning tools and breaking your glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>